Well, we're finally back in our normal reality. We're at Chloe's place. We'll go downstairs and see what's happening. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Still don't know what to quite make of him. We need to go in the garage now and yeah, we're gonna break into this padlock. When we do, we'll uncover the information that we've been looking for, but also the coordinates as well. Yes, I knew that number would be important. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. And now that we've got this information, there's only one thing to do, and that is to go back and find Chloe. Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. So it looks like we're back at Blackwell. And I'm interested to see how this next part turns out. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um... And this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just. Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. So what I did is I went over to these two and I asked them questions, questions about Nathan as well which helps us now figure out that the coast is clear so we'll go find Chloe yet again and we'll head into the dorm coast is clear it would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together but now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself ah oh, you suck 
Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well, this place is an absolute state worse than the girls, I would say. But it doesn't take us too long to find out what we're after. This can only be Nathan's room. Now a lot of things may be a bit weird in this room but you've got a lot to definitely explore. For us we're going after the main story so there's marks on the floor, it's time for us to move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes little phone, you are mine now. So we'll make our way back outside and we'll go and show the phone to Chloe. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max! Stop right there, Nathan! Make me, ho! <clears throat> Max! I got this! Get the fuck out of my face! <clears throat> you are so fucking dead! <clears throat> Get off me, bro! <clears throat> <clears throat> And after everything that Nathan's done, I decided to not stop Warren, but stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! <laughs> Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! <laughs> Sorry! Yes, we have to go! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! We're given the option to rewind time, but this is something I'm not going to do, as Nathan has caused us quite a bit of trouble. Do let us know what choice you made as we venture on out for the next part. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out... Anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. 
He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. So it looks like we're going somewhere near the bay over to see Frank, give him some money and hopefully get some information out of him at the same time. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Now, because we need his help, we're gonna give him the money. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank. We're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? The funny thing is, I actually did want to say you already did, but... Yeah, like I said before, because we need this information, we're going to go down the bottom and we're going to say I'm sorry. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank. This isn't about me now. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah. You didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me! We were all freaked out, now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog is... He got out of the RV and a motherfucking big rig hit him. I beat that fucker down. God, Frank. 
Frank. Oh, that's awful. How, uh, how, how is he? Little bastard is lucky to be alive. Again, like you give a shit. Well, it's good to learn that he's okay, and we're going to compliment the dog here. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how he got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. And let me know if you find out who hurt my dog, okay? Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. As always, guys, thank you very much for joining us in episode four, part two. I'll be bringing you some more dark room very very soon and some more things along the way to do with life is strange until then i'll catch you next time